normal now for video games as games will be priced at $70. This is of course due to inflation, obviously. Games are $60 for like the past 10 years and now due to the inflation crisis because of our president, then, well now all games for the next 10 consoles will be $70. Which means... There's going to be a lot more failures in video games. People are going to be much more choosy with the video games. For example, we have the newest game, Forspoken, which is going to be a failure. Yeah. And I think even Nintendo will start selling charging $70 once their next console comes out. Out. Which is even worse because Nintendo never puts discounts on the game. Again, for all of us peasants, then, this will be pretty bad. But again, this is what happens when you... when the country elects someone who is 78 years old. Which is another boomer. Which again. Boomers truly ruin everything for us young people. But they're getting harder and harder to swallow as a consumer. As people get. You know. Poorer. People are going to be very choosy with the games. People will probably only be able to buy. One or two games a year. Okay. And that's not a exaggeration. I'm talking about at full price. Okay. Games like Modern Warfare and Gotham Knights already costed over 60 And a lot of the newer games, including the new Star Wars game, the new Harry Potter game. game. It doesn't matter which developer you try to do. Do. They'll be all $70. No matter how much as people like to complain. And like to whine on whine. I complained. The Quarterly complained. Many other YouTubers complained. But again... Our voices do not matter, because of course, people elected Joe Biden as the president. Of course, I do. Of course, if Trump was elected again, I think a, I think a country would be better off economically. But stuff like the Ukraine war part may have still happened and stuff like that. Again, I don't want to delve into alternate history in this video, but it's going to become the new normal for next gen games. You'll be charged seventy dollars for every new game. Same thing, thing will likely be with the next Nintendo console as well. Nintendo will probably be paying $70 for the next 10 consoles, and all companies are now doing $70. And of course, gamers are not happy. B. The average price of the game will be $70, and many people are not happy about it. But it is mostly because of inflation. Inflation is was a pretty big crisis uh the past couple of years okay inflation was a pretty big crisis and i do not think i think that this will really spell the end for modern gaming okay when i'm talking about modern gaming i talk about the greed that they sub into these games battle passes microtransactions and all of these other things that are not needed in games. Okay. Leave those to the freemium games and mobile games. The freemium free to play garbage that we do not want. Okay. For example. If a game is a good experience. I don't care what the price of the game is. 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 For example Elden Ring. Or Sonic Frontiers. Those games are worth the money. If you have not played those games. I've not played Elden Ring, but everybody says Elden Ring is a good game, so I'm just gonna go by everybody else's opinion. And everybody said Kirby and Forgot Kirby and Forgotten Land is an amazing game. So no matter what price Kirby and Forgotten Land is, because it's an amazing experience no matter what price you pay for that game. Game. And no matter what we say, say current game companies are gonna do whatever makes them the most money. Most of these game companies are a business after all. And there is not even a whole thing called boycott seventy dollar games. Well, really, if you want to boycott seventy dollar games, just wait until the until the game goes on sale. Yo, know, usually games are full price until a sale comes around. Obviously, like a Black Friday sale. Of course, Black Friday is one of the best times to get newer games on for sale. And I think a lot more people will be buying games and stuff like Black Friday and stuff, or buy games from Amazon. 
because Amazon puts frequent sales on newer games, and games drop in price relatively quickly, especially if the game is a failure. For example, a game like Forspoken will probably stop dropping in price very soon. Soon. The only problem is a company like Nintendo. Nintendo never discounts their games, unless they're complete trash, like Nintendo Switch Sports and Mario Strikers Battle League. Is this going to further prove separate the good games from the bad games? Bad games are, or of course, older games. For example, if someone buys the new Star Wars game in 2026, Star Wars Jedi, I forgot the Jedi, but Jedi Fallen Order 2. 2. In 2026. The game's going to be 20. Because it's an old game. Okay. Same thing with something like Hogwarts Legacy. If both of those games are good, good, they're going to probably keep the game on full price as, as much as possible. But of course, it's still Black Friday, and then the interest for the game will die down, and they'll reduce the price for the game. But the Sony Dollar games, there's also a whole boycott Sony Dollar games, games, as well. And no, I agree with PC Magazine. No, Sony Dollar games should have microtransactions. Microtransactions should be left to freemium games, and that's it. Okay, free games. Okay, games that you don't have to pay money for. Okay, because that's justifying the free game. Okay, and basically, the easiest way to boycott all your games is to buy them when they're, when they're on sale, obviously. Because they're not giving them the full amount of money the game's out. But, unfortunately, because of the economy, because of Joe Biden and the economy, and how he has been running the economy, me, well, yeah. Games are going to cost more, no matter if you like it or not. Not. But this will also prove something. Bad games are going to fall. People are going to be more picky about the games. They're going to see reviews, what YouTubers think of the games. And what other people think of the games online. Through user reviews. And if a game doesn't have amazing reviews, for example a game like Forspoken, it's going to flop. And it's going to fall down in price. And then, the more, some of the more skeptical people might buy the game when it's like 40 But most of, a lot of people are not going to be buying the game at once. For example, for Spoken, it's $70 on the PC and on the PlayStation. Sin. As well. And yeah, we're going to be talking about this game again tomorrow when the user reviews come out. And then we're going to talk about the game again the day after that because the creator of God of War is again attack. Sony is attacking people for not liking the game. Similar to Velma. But yeah. So this game, even though I don't really care about it, is still going to give me some content because people are now starting to become interested in my other forms of content, which is finally about time. But this game, I think it's going to sell very poorly. Okay. People don't really care for this game all too much. And the fact that they're charging $70 for this game. Considering the fact that so many people are struggling right now. Now. As well. But again. I think people are not really going to buy this game too much. As well. This game is going to be another failure. Which is unfortunate, because if you look at the trailer, the game looks pretty cool. The game looks pretty good. But nope, it's another modern gaming failure. And because a lot of games are going to cost $80, people are really going to see. User reviews are going to matter way more, more obviously. And of course, reviews. Because unlike, game, unlike movie critics, which are much more hard... Our game clicks are much more harder to convince. If a game is truly bad, it will get more bad reviews. Views. And let's talk about Star Wars Battlefront 2. But. If a game was is broken and buggy. More people will not buy the game. And again. I think pre-ordering games. And it's Hogwarts Legacy. Because the SJW is really screwed over with that game. Game pissing off every Harry Potter fan in existence, and even the non Harry Potter fans are buying the game. Well, I don't think pre I think pre order games are not gonna be that well, unless it's of course Zelda Tears of the Kingdom or something like Hogwarts Legacy as well. 
And that's basically this video. Goodbye.